you in an area where your children are being treated hostily. You a rich nigga. You got white folks money. So you are not going to endure the same hosti- the hostilities that a working class black parent is who's living in Sumter, who's living in Atlanta. Oh, my or kids Gwinnett. been called niggas. It's been hostile. It's been I hostile. Call, hostile being area. called it's niggas when your dad got a Ferrari just don't hurt as much. It's been, it's been, it's you know what I'm saying? Like, like, no, 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 no. I'm very serious. No, for them, I'm just a nigga No, because you always getting a good for argument. Them, them, but nigga, I'm you a, rich and you cannot take that away. And, and my question becomes this. With all the great education you got, you turned out to be a DJ and a real estate investor. You didn't have an to go to college. Not a DJ, an entrepreneur, bro. Entrepreneur, I'm not dissing DJs. Okay, nigga. I'm a part what of hip hop. I'm an MC. I'm just a rapper. I can call myself an entrepreneur too, and I am. Mm-hmm. Right? We both got millions of dollars of property. We both do cool shit. Mm-hmm. But we make our money single and dancing. That's what we make our money doing. So your investment comes from your talent, what you were interested in, what you chose to pursue. Black people, your children are going to have pursuits. And I was looking for and I'll find. Before I came up here, I visited an academy that's owned by a former Ohio State player. This academy is all black children, bought a small church out in Lithonia, Georgia. All black kids learning, dominating, 100% college rate. So what I was getting to on a grander level is, if you can't send your children to Woodward, if you can't send your children to St. wherever, I'm going to send my youngest daughter, um, hopefully to Padilla, just so she gets some inclusion, because she's a little too black for me. She's a little, little Chuck D. You know, she scare me sometimes. I'm saying to put confident children in the world. See, because we always love that cop out of, hey, man, you know, we sent my children there for a better education. But the same niggas be telling me how much they paid for college. Your children ain't rewarding that by scholarshiping. You not you after you after you do them years, you're not directing your children to Howard, not you. You're not directing your children to Howard or mm-hmm. Morehouse or Spelman or Bethune Cookman or Tuskegee University. Mm-hmm. Then you doing some further chump shit. You done tell them in, in, uh, for five, six years, you done been called a nigga. You done got a twisted word. Oh, it's a great education. The education don't even teach you as Egypt is in Africa. Don't teach you to be proud of nothing about yourself. It just teaches you how to take tests well and how to participate and coordinate according to the system and the way they teach you. And you never thought, God damn, I could start my own Montessori, Montessori school. Where it's eight kids in the whole school. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying this from because I heard this shit in some goddamn chump ass rhyme from a chump ass rapper. I own <laughs> a third of a block Kanye. in Atlanta. And I was. Will- the second block next to me was bought by five white people who didn't even know each other. Mm. And they started a monastery school within three months. Nigga, do something. Mm. I used to wonder to myself, man, why is Dick Gregory so mad? Because Nick, he cussed me and tip out the first time we met him. He said, man, what y'all niggas gonna do? March, the same shit we've been doing 50 years? Nigga, they gonna tell you to march, you got to be off the streets by 7 o'clock, if you ain't ever gonna keep? Yeah, the school seemed better because you buying into that. Why are we not starting our own academies and supporting them? Why are we not supporting historically black colleges and universities? That's where our heroes went. That's where they came from. Dr. King went to Booker T. Washington. You gonna show me a nigga smarter than him? Mm. You understand what I'm saying? I don't have no problems with you loving your children. But my children go to public school because I pay taxes in public schools and they name for black people. And either you're going to choose to be excellent and you're going to do better or you're going to sit your chump ass down and you're going to keep me in the same shit over and over. But you can't complain and say that greatness wasn't given to you. If you walk in a school named for Frederick Douglass High School and you do not have the initiative, you do not have the initiative as a parent or the student to walk up and step up to that greatness. But you would do it at St. Pius. You were doing that St. Michael? Man, you a chump. That's why we're just. I'm not talking about you. See, so you can sit here and say the chump shit all day long. I'm not right? talking about I'm you. I'm telling you, you light-skinned, no, I'm, 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 I'm not talking about saying, you. I'm, not I'm saying talking you about working class people. You are. I'm talking again it's, it's about no, working that class a lot of people. Those public school teachers are not getting paid or overworked, and some of them are not putting the effort out because there's some of them are the worst teachers in the country. I don't agree. I'm here I to defend teachers. You are agree. full of shit. Yeah, I, I, I got to that too. I, I my, my mom is a public school teacher. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're full of every, shit. You're full of shit. You full of shit. You full of shit. My mom, my mom been a public school teacher of, for 30 years. Some DJs whack. You not one of them. Nah, get out of your mouth. That's wrong. That's To throw teachers under the bus is wrong. You are wrong. Yeah, you can't throw public school teachers. You are wrong. You're not going to put words in my mouth. I said some public school teachers are there and they don't give it all and some of them don't have the tools that the same schools that other schools have don't put words in my mouth i don't put words in yours well, and that's thing. what i'm saying Hold on. Mad, no. so when it comes to no i'm not mad i let you speak i let you give your spiel me but and when, but always had his spiel, argument when i get my spiel oh he's mad no i'm just speaking the facts i've been to public school i've been to certain states but for me 
Learning to do certain things is learning way different. My kids go to private school, right? My son has his own business, has started his own thing, things that he learned that I didn't learn before. You know why? Because those opportunities were given to him. My daughter has been to places most people haven't been ever. Because, I think they learned because, a lot of that from you, though. Because, no, yeah, no, you they learned they learn they they learn more of that from you. Yeah, than they they no, no, it's, you not, right. it's not only me, but they have Everybody that. Everybody get rich since children in private school. Me. They it's have all business work classes out. where they learn real estate in her school. I didn't never learn real estate. You know what she? You know what she gets you know example from her father. But she get it from her father. But they teach Envy. it in school. Envy, I'm not they saying. Envy, I'm not school. saying they don't. Yes, uh, yes but, I push my kids. But they speaking teach it in for the working class African American, that child is in an environment that is hostile to them. And that's, that's, why, what, I, that's, and that's what I was speaking to. That's what I was speaking to. That was my own experience. So what I'm speaking to again, because if you rich, you insulated. Speaking to the working class African American, if you are unsatisfied with your school system, radically change it by voting in a new board, put in for new systems to be constructed, or support charter schools. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then we all get nervous. Oh, a charter school, sorry, that's a Republican. But pull your children out and start a best academy like in Atlanta. Or Diddy has Scott his King. charter school in, in yeah. Atlanta. Yeah. Shout out to Diddy yeah. and Steve That's Perry. All I'm saying, Jalen man. Rose has his charter school. We got to stop giving these excuses to leave each other. We do the same. It's, it's, me it's and you make excuses. money because people it's, left the hood. It's legit. Me, it's my father not made fifty thousand dollars. How the fuck bro. was he going to start a charter school? Bro. He did what he could. He took Who? me out of fucking Andrew Jackson. My father took me Nigga, out of Andrew Jackson. I ain't going to get your father. We're talking about each other. Yeah, I'm with your dad. Oh no, I'm with your father. But I'm talking. I'm not talking about for you. What I'm saying is, in spite of all the education you got your dream and your pursuit and your belief in the kid that you met when you told the story about meeting um meeting clue that's what brought you here what brought you here is your own self-invention your own curiosity your own mind in the school that's what it should be i'm not sending my youngest daughter potentially to padilla because it's a white school i'm sending her because they actually go outside 